Hello, it's time to make another what I eat in a day video. This time it's a breastfeeding edition and plus it's a gluten free edition and plus it's going to feature my beautiful nearly six months old baby. Well, five and a half. Today is Saturday. We are about to go to the market so we have to be really, really quick. We need to go before this guy goes for his first nap. He can actually nap while we're shopping in the market. And as always, even if I'm gluten free, I'm still eating oats almost every single morning. I just make sure they're gluten free oats. And this guy is looking at his sister sharpening her nails in the distance. And while this guy is in his little rocking chair playing with his toys, I'm going to go and show you the porridge and the kitties are having morning exercise session. I'm going to put a tiny bit of butter and i cooked it in water with a bit of salt and a few raisins i'm also soaking some lentils just green lentils for tonight's dinner which i'm going to start cooking in the afternoon it's literally my go-to meal that i cook at least every single week and it's amazing and here's my breakfast ready so that's the porridge my banana and some warm water with honey with propolis from our local friend who is a beekeeper. And Leonardo has just got his high chair, we just built it because he's ready to eat in a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe in a month, maybe in a couple of months, we'll see. <laughs> he's super excited about everything because now he can see what we're doing on the worktop and he's so happy about it. Leonardo, oh, do you like your new chair? Wow! <laughs> Pilar, Pilar! Be. 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 Touch her! Hey. Come on! Touch your little sister! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love your little sister? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> so cute! <laughs> it's almost o'clock, and I'm about to cook a very quick lunch. So I'm going to make it an Italian frittata with onions, and we'll eat it together with a lovely um, salad with roasted vegetables that I made last night. The first step is cooking those onions on a little bit of oil. So I'm just adding some salt and I'll leave them cooking for around 15 minutes until they're very soft and golden. And as a snack before lunch, I also had two tiny local bananas, which are already in my tummy, so I can't show them to you. And also I'm going to have a teaspoon of peanut butter right now. So just open the peanut butter and I find this shape inside. This is how my husband eats it. Doesn't it resemble a little bit of dog poo or something? So while the onions are cooking, I'm going to prepare the eggs. I'm going to use six eggs. Normally we just use two eggs each, but they're quite hungry. And then the secret to a nice frittata is to mix the eggs lightly, not fully, not totally beaten, just slightly. I think it's the same with the French omelette as well, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. And add a little bit of salt and black pepper. And then I also need to add some fresh parsley. Now the onions are cooking on medium fire. I'm going to add the eggs. I'm going to mix just a little bit very quickly to make sure that the onions are distributed evenly. And then I'll just sprinkle with the parsley. And I'll leave it cooking for exactly five minutes and then I'll flip it. And this is that pepper salad. Oh, not just pepper. Lots of ingredients, I'm going to tell you what they are. This is the salad. There isn't much left, but you would be surprised to know how many vegetables actually went into making it. So there are three red peppers in there. There are two big aubergines. Um, there's a bit of garlic. Um, also for artichoke hearts, marinated in vinegar. And then for dressing, I added some aged wine vinegar. Um, 
extra virgin olive oil and some coconut sugar to balance the sourness of the vinegar oh and a little bit of parsley as well as i made it yesterday i can't show you how i did it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the recipe uh, typed up down in the description box so you can just have a look and make it for yourself now the fun part i'm going to flip it using this beautiful spanish tool for flipping tortilla Ta -da! so beautiful and now we'll just slide it back in now i'll just cook it for three more minutes and the frittata is ready to be eaten look at this beauty now we could eat but the thing is that leonardo is hungry you can probably hear him crying in the meanwhile so i'm going to feed him first and i hope that this frittata is not going to get cold by the time i'm ready here's the little one with his favorite spoon <laughs> While mommy and daddy eat, Leonardo is going to play on his mat. <laughs> He's super happy after a good nap and after a good feed. The frittata is still warm. And lunch is served. Well, this guy is having fun on his mat. He's trying to eat the waves on the mat. He loves them. <laughs> He's so cute. It's too good to lift your head, isn't it? Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> ah. Leonardo, where are you trying to go? This guy crawls all around the mat, playing with all the toys. And now he's trying to crawl to us. Leonardo, come on, you can do it. <laughs> It's afternoon and I'm going to start cooking the evening dish in advance. That's something I've really started doing because with a baby in the house it's so much easier to do everything in advance because in the evening we have to go out for a walk with him, get him ready for bed. And by the time it's all done it's already kind of late to cook so I like having something ready. So I'm going to use some green beans. Um, this one is pancetta iberica bellota, which is basically a Spanish version of bacon, but way better because these pigs are fed on acorn, so it's incredible. But bacon would be the same thing, just a natural version of it. And then I'm going to use some garlic, big onion, a courgette or a squash. I don't even know. I guess it's a kind of summer courgette, a big carrot, celery stick some leftover spinach and those lentils that I've been soaking from the morning. Okay, so step one is cooking these onions on a big amount of oil, let's say maybe four tablespoons, because I'm actually making a huge amount for two, three days for us to eat. And then this is what the pancetta looks like. So as you can see, it's very similar to regular bacon. So good. And then same go, I'm going to add also the, the celery and I think that's it. Just these things. Oh, and also the garlic. Leonardo woke up unexpectedly, so while I was feeding him, my husband, who is the best husband in the world, shot Thank you. all the vegetables for me. Ta-da! Ta -da. So now I just have to chop up the spinach and the job will be done. Now these onions, celeries and uh, bacon has been cooking for around 10 minutes. And lastly, I'm going to add the green beans and the chopped spinach. And the lentils that have been soaked and rinsed. And now one last final touch. I'm going to add some vegetable stock. Whoa. I'm making so much that my pot is almost too small for it. But that makes me really happy because I won't have to think about dinners for three days. It's just awesome when you have a baby. Herbs and spices, I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves. Herbs de Provence. 
and some fresh parsley. Just look at all these beautiful colors. And now, Leonardo is not happy at all. He's really grumpy today because last night we came back from the capital super late and he didn't sleep enough. So today we're paying for it, but it had to be done. I'm just going to add some black pepper because the stock was very salted, so it doesn't need any extra salt. And once it starts boiling, I'll cook it for around 1 hour, 20 minutes, 1 hour, 30 minutes until the lentils are soft enough. And now I'm exhausted. I would really love to eat this mango before we go, but as long as it's crying, we don't have time. So I'll eat this when I come back. These mangoes are local. They're super good. And during the day, I also ate around three bananas scattered throughout the day as snacks. That really helps me while I'm breastfeeding. Walk done. Now let's check on the soup. And Ladino is much happier now after the walk. Soup, stew. I don't even know which one it is because it's somewhere in the middle. I usually put a little bit less water, but this time I do it this way. So I guess it's more of a soup. So I'm going to have the mango, finally. I've been waiting for this moment. And some goat's milk yogurt. Yeah, I'm such a perfect snack. Baby's finally asleep and I'm knackered, but we're about to eat our dinner. Here it is. My husband also likes sprinkling a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil on top. I don't. I find it perfect, just like this. I hope they enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.